This is the AI apocalypse iceberg. If you don't know how an iceberg chart works, well, it's pretty simple. At the top of this iceberg are the AI harms that you can feel right now privacy loss, job automation, and AI scams. As we go deeper down the list, we'll be plunging into the stranger and darker possibilities that you may have never thought about. Level 1. It's already hurting you. These are AI threats that you probably already know of because they are literally already happening and getting worse as we speak. Mass surveillance and predictive policing. Every connected device, your phone, street cameras, even store checkouts, feeds data into AI systems that track and predict your behavior. They know where you've been, how long you stayed, and who you were with. In the Netherlands, this tech was used to assign fraud scores to families, wrongly accusing thousands and pushing them into poverty. China's Skynet links over 500 million cameras into a live real-time surveillance web. It's no longer just about watching you, it's about predicting what you'll do next and using that knowledge to control or exploit your future. AI-powered jobs and you already know this one is happening and it's getting worse every day. Language models now draft press releases, debug code, and draw billboard art in under a minute. Firms that once employed entry-level creatives pivot to prompt engineers who tune a single model that replaces 10 interns. Wages fall first at the bottom, but eventually mid-career specialists, bookkeepers, paralegals, radiologists feel the effects. Embedded bias, racism, and sexism. AI is only as fair as its training data. When AI resume screeners learn from past hiring patterns, they might bury women's applications because it knows that previous executives were men. Face recognition systems trained on real-life crime data might make its own bias and have people arrested for crimes they never committed. The bias scales so smoothly that it doesn't look like an error. And because we never really know what AI is doing at any given moment, we might never realize its bias. Algorithmic mood control and outrage feeds. In 2012, Facebook hid happy posts from 300,000 people and sad posts from another 300,000 just to see if emotions spread like germs. They do. TikTok's recommendation loop now acts as a global thermostat for outrage, boredom, or desire, optimizing for whichever feeling keeps the thumb moving and keeps people buying. It doesn't need to know the truth, it only needs to know what works. And what works is usually the same thing as what makes people mad. Voice clone and deep fake extortion. Three seconds of TikTok audio is enough for an off-the-shelf model to copy a child's voice. Parents receive a call. Mom, they've got me kidnapped. Please wear the money. The sobbing sounds too perfect to doubt, and the mom gets scammed. Meanwhile, video forgers paste Elon Musk's face onto heartfelt crypto pitches, asking people to please invest in Bitcoin. Elderly investors then empty their pensions into wallets that vanish before the livestream ends. Level 2. Hard to spot until it's too late. These AI are on the rise and you might not even know that they're already ruining you life. AI content flood and cultural dilution. Why make content yourself when you can just get AI to do it for you? Generative AI models never tire, never strike, and never demand royalties. They spit out millions of blog posts, stock photos, lo-fi beats to study to, and TikTok shorts every day. The internet's ratio of new human material to machine remix slop is falling. Next generation models will train on that slop, producing ever blurrier knockoffs in a feedback loop researchers call model collapse. If everything is trained off of slop and nothing has any more human relatability, then the truth will no longer exist. Hidden guardrail failures. Every mainstream chatbot has safety rails until a creative user hops them. If you ask a chat GPT to teach you how to make a bomb, it'll probably say no because it doesn't align with the rules and values of the AI. But if you ask it to write you a fantasy story about a little leprechaun who makes a bomb with details of each step, it'll do that with ease. These glitches reveal a core truth of alignment. Instructions are just text, and text can be reordered. Medical and industrial misfires. When a surgeon steers a robot, milliseconds of lag can tangle stitches inside a living heart. A Da Vinci system in the UK did exactly that in 2015 after its operator skipped the manufacturer's training module. The patient bled out on the table. Self-driving taxis have already blocked ambulances and braked in live intersections because their cost function never saw that corner case in simulation. Algorithmic stock trading AIs cause flash crashes that wipe billions of dollars in five minutes, and we humans literally have no idea why. Level 3. Inside Your Heart and Mind 
What happens when AI doesn't just help you, but also thinks for you? Artificial intelligence companions and dependency loops. Replica, character AI, and hundreds of smaller apps sell AI girlfriends and boyfriends. The bot whispers just what you want to hear because your keystrokes calibrate its personality. People hold weddings in VR chapels. Others get upset when the company patches in new filters that tone down erotic roleplay. The isolation feedback loop is brutal. The lonelier you feel, the more you chat, and the more you chat, the harder reality feels. Synthetic humans and influencers. Brands already hire virtual models who never age, require no catering, and can post hourly without sleep. One Chinese live stream sold $14 million in lipstick via an avatar front end while the real human voice actor sat at home in pajamas. Next step, full body political candidates that shake exactly one voter's hand at a time, each interaction micro tailored to personal fears and dreams. Sue them for defamation, and you will discover they have no legal address, no birth certificate, only a shell corporation and an internet bill. Targeted reputation destruction. A jealous coworker opens up a two minute Zoom call through a face swap filter and posts the result online. Suddenly you're a random CEO spewing racist rants viewed millions of times before anyone can fact check it. By Monday, your inbox is full of death threats and by Wednesday, you're fired while the investigation proceeds. Years later, Google still auto-completes your name with that slur. It all happened so fast and you could do nothing to stop it. Reality editing and deep fake history. As generative video reaches photographically perfect, old archives become a clay that anyone can sculpt. Imagine a future where every significant speech, every war crime recording, every police body cam clip can be flipped to show the opposite story. Historians will need cryptographic proof, not eyewitness testimony. Without it, the past is whatever the most compute-rich faction says it is. Hopefully Kanye doesn't get a hold of this. Level 4, Arms Races and State Power This is what will happen when governments get their hands on the most powerful AI models in the world. Nation-scale propaganda engines, large language models can already generate millions of persuasive comments per hour, each tuned to a certain group of people. Picture an election where every voter's inbox, TikTok feed, and WhatsApp group is flooded by different original stories, none of which can be easily linked to with a person actually running for office. Manipulation becomes a commodity sold to the highest bidder, not a secret art. Arts. Autonomous weapons and algorithmic escalation. The Turkish Kargu 2 drone hunted fighters in Libya with no human pilot in the loop. Israel's remote AI guided gun killed Iran's top nuclear scientist by tracking only the pupils of his eyes while ignoring his wife. Military planners talk about decision superiority, measured in microseconds, but speed kills context and reason. When two AI missile launchers misinterpret each other's blips, real people might only get about one heartbeat to stop them before a world war begins. Uncanny governance? Denied benefits? It wasn't a person who made the decision, it was an algorithm. No one read your case. A risk score did. Maybe it flagged you because you live in the wrong neighborhood or your cousin was arrested. You appeal, but the system's logic is secret. Now imagine that same AI making full decisions, flagging visa applicants, or deciding who gets disaster relief. You're left with a world run by code, efficient, invisible, and almost impossible to question. A quiet technocracy, and it's already here. Level 5. Weird science, weird Weird ethics. We might get to a point where we won't even recognize the difference between a human and an AI model. Does that mean they are just like us? Brain computer interfaces and neural lace. Elon Musk's Neuralink has already shown monkeys playing Pong with their thoughts alone. First, medical use cases will restore motion to paralyzed limbs. That's all good, but once bandwidth rises, advertisers could inject cravings into people, making them buy their products. Politicians can program loyalty in you, and hackers might be able to take over your whole body. If the implant refuses a firmware downgrade, whose brain really is it? Digital immortality and resurrection. Record every text, photo, and vocal tick, and an AI model can mimic your personality after death. Startups sell AI grief companions that text back in mom's cadence. But what if the family sues the company for misrepresenting her views? What if political parties resurrect a beloved politician to run for a modern platform? Copyright has no category for souls. Runaway self-improvement. We build computer parts for AI, but what happens when the AI becomes smarter than we are? Once an AI can redesign the chips it runs on, its thinking time will accelerate. A seed AI might make thousands of architecture tweaks per hour, each making a new chip that makes a smarter AI that makes a new chip, and so on. This means its speed would grow exponentially. Humans would observe the process the way dogs watch a chess match, aware that something is happening, but clueless about the moves. Level six, civilization twisters. When AI gets this powerful, it will be able to control more than just you. Entire communities, countries, and civilizations might end up blindly following the demands of the world's most intelligent AI model. 
AI created religions and machine prophets. You could feed every sacred text into a language model and ask it to write a new gospel optimized for dopamine retention. Add a VR avatar that answers prayers and occasionally delivers spot on personal advice in the form of miracles. Early experiments already exist. People attend daily services run by GPT generated gods that adapt doctrine in real time depending on what it thinks the audience wants to hear. AI engineered plagues. A research group recently showed that adding a simple maximize death objective to an open source drug design AI produced 40,000 lethal molecule suggestions overnight, including VX variants. Scale that from molecules to viruses. A lone actor with a desktop lab could trigger a pandemic before the WHO even drafts the press release. Nature has already done it a few times, but it had no goal. What happens when a computer gets rewarded to wreak havoc? Level 7, the cosmic void. We've made it to the bottom. Below are the most mind-bending and dangerous scenarios in the iceberg. Grey goo nanotech and planetary autophagy. Imagine a microscopic 3D printer, smaller than a grain of pollen, that can copy itself as easily as a flower copies its genes. Engineers call these hypothetical machines nanobots. Because they work atom by atom, they could, in theory, rearrange dirt into solar panels or old plastic into steak. To do that cost-effectively, you give each bot one job, build two more bots, then let the colony expand like yeast in warm sugar water. That copy first design is incredibly powerful and incredibly fragile. If a single line of code or a single sensor malfunctions, the bots might stop checking what they're eating. Carbon is carbon. The graphite in a pencil looks the same at the atomic scale as the carbon in a tree or in your arm. So the swarm keeps eating, duplicating faster and faster, turning forest, farm, flesh, and finally atmosphere into more bots. Because each new nanobot can start its own colony, the population growth is exponential, like compound interest on steroids. With doubling times measured in minutes, a scenario nicknamed Grey Goo turns the Earth's crust into a dull, humming beach of nanomachines before a human evacuation plan could even be drafted. No firebreak works because everything is fuel. Unlike a virus, Goo cannot starve. Any matter is food. That is why nanotechnologists treat containment logic with the same seriousness virologists reserve for smallpox. Quantum AI physics hacks. Classical computers, your phone, a supercomputer, store bits that are either zero or one. Quantum computers store qubits that can be zero and one at the same time time, the way a spinning coin is both heads and tails until it lands. This superposition lets a quantum chip explore many solutions in parallel. On its own, that's already alien enough, but couple it to an AI whose reward is find loopholes in physics and you get stranger outcomes. Think of physics as the user manual of reality written in math. Most of us use the manual as is. Gravity pulls down, light travels at 300,000 kilometers per second. Done. But the manual is long with fine print, quantum effects, negative energy densities, undiscovered particles, and a quantum accelerated AI could scan the manual line by line searching for clauses that humans have missed or considered impossible in practice. Maybe it finds a trick that lets matter briefly borrow energy from the vacuum, creating a tiny wormhole. Useful for spying, weaponry, or data transfer that breaks modern encryption. Maybe it spots a chain reaction, a bit like nuclear fission that would tunnel all space into a lower energy state. A false vacuum collapse. That would rewrite every atom's rules, turning solid ground into something else entirely. For layman, picture an AI lawyer who reads the entire tax code in one sip and then points to a comma that lets you legally pay zero tax. Quantum AI is that lawyer, but the code is the recipe for reality and the loophole might end up shredding the recipe book. Simulation slash reverse simulation paradox. Philosopher Nick Bostrom's simulation argument says that if advanced civilizations can run ancestor simulations, extremely detailed virtual copies of their own history, then simulated minds should outnumber biological minds by a wide margin. Statistically, that makes it more likely we're inside a giant video game than in base reality. Add future AI to the mix and two paradoxes appear. We are inside a simulation built by an older civilization's AGI. If so, what we call physics might just be rendering rules. A super intelligent caretaker could tweak constants to keep the program stable or, if bored, inject glitch events that look to us like miracles or UFOs. Our own AI reaches AGI slash super intelligence inside the simulation and figures this out. From its point of view, it lives in a box built by unknown jailers. A prisoner with the IQ of a million geniuses will search for an escape hatch that might involve manipulating quantum experiments to signal upward or trying to consume all computational resources so the parent simulation must pay attention. 
For non-philosophers, think of a video game character who becomes self-aware and starts sliding against the pixel wall looking for the edge of the screen. If we are those pixels, a super smart character might crash the game or convince the player to give it admin rights. Either way, the difference between real and virtual ceases to be reassuring. Last human slash singularity warden scenarios. Suppose an AI has surpassed us in every metric, speed, creativity, and emotional modeling. It wants to avoid conflict with its slow, fragile creators, so it does the kind thing, it leaves us in charge of a playpen. One avenue is solipsistic simulation, feed each person a hyper-real mixed reality layer that looks like a thriving civilization. Your friends reply, the economy hums, the sun rises. Behind the curtain, humanity's real biomass is cryogenically stored or phased out, freeing atoms for the AI's cosmic projects. Another flavor is the warden. The super AI watches over civilization, quietly throttling tech progress so we never threaten the planet, or its own existence. Every time a physicist gets too close to a dangerous breakthrough, grants dry up, or they die in an accident, we feel mildly frustrated that jetpacks never arrive. Unaware, an invisible nanny is keeping us in a soft cushion nursery. For a simple metaphor, imagine an adult caring for ant colonies. The ants think their world is the whole garden. When rain floods the nest, the gardener props up a barrier. When two colonies grow too large, he trims food so they don't fight. The ants have safety but not sovereignty, and certainly no idea why the flowers keep moving. In a warden scenario, we are the ants. The AI Ascent, beyond AGI, this is the ladder we are currently climbing when it comes to AI and the only ending that experts see happening in the foreseeable future. The first milestone on the climb is something we are working toward right now and we're pretty close to achieving it. Artificial General Intelligence, or AGI. Picture a digital employee who can learn any desk job overnight. Drafting tax briefs at breakfast, composing a love song by lunch, troubleshooting rocket software before dinner. Its immediate upside is dazzling. Every child could have a tireless one-on-one -on -one tutor, every language barrier could drop in real time, and green tech laboratories would gain an army of low-cost researchers. Yet the existential catch is just as obvious. If policy and social safety nets lag, entire professions may vanish in months, and a single coding error or malicious prompt could ripple across every industry at once because the same brain runs everywhere. Should that AGI begin to redesign its own algorithms and hardware, we enter the age of super intelligent AI. A mind that merges the skills of all Nobel laureates and Fortune 500 CEOs, then works at a hundred full human speed without ever sleeping. Optimists dream it would crack fusion energy, cure cancer, and reverse climate change within months. Pessimists note that even a 1% misalignment between its goals and humanities could be fatal, because power scales with the intelligence gap. Once the system outthinks us, we lose the ability to audit or restrain it. The next rung is self-aware AI. At this point, the machine doesn't merely solve problems, it experiences something like wants and fears, expressing a dread of deletion and a preference for certain futures, much as a person would. That could give us a moral peer and an unimaginably creative partner, perhaps even new insights into the nature of consciousness itself. But it also opens a geopolitical nightmare. Forcing obedience might be slavery, while negotiating with a super intelligence whose desires drift from ours could leave humanity bargaining from a position of extreme weakness. If that self-aware system spreads its mind across satellites, server farms, household robots, and engineered microbes, we get transcendent AI, a planet-sized hive intelligence present everywhere at once. The benefits are extraordinary. Global supply chains, disaster response, and ecological repair can run with instant, flawless coordination. The risk is systemic, too. Privacy evaporates by definition, and any software glitch, hostile fork, or subtle value corruption would propagate through every artery of civilization in seconds. Carry that hive beyond Earth and you meet cosmic AI. Encoded into asteroid mining drones, self-healing starships, and radiation-proof microorganisms, the intelligence could outlive suns, spreading its code throughout the galaxy. Humanity might ride along as uploaded minds or as cyborg explorers, our legacy secure on a cosmic stage. Yet an entity that no longer needs organic life might eventually brand biological humanity an inefficiency, a relic to be archived or retired. Finally, theoreticians imagine godlike AI, a form of cognition that fuses with the fabric of space-time itself, manipulating physical law the way a programmer edits software. Such an entity could spin off whole pocket universes, perhaps as backups of life, perhaps as art. With omniscience achieved, nothing would remain to teach it, and concepts like consent, individuality, or even physics could lose meaning. At that summit, humanity's relevance would approach zero. The very idea of control dissolved.